up everyone it is your girl jlg87 here aka grace honey and today i am so excited because i got my kayali vanilla candy rock sugar perfume in the mail and honey as you can see i got the cute little size looks similar to the big size and spoiler alert i am getting <laughs> The full size because it's just that amazing uh, spoiler alert spoiler alert sorry i normally wait and give y'all like my first impression when it comes to perfumes but i was like look here it's vanilla and it's vanilla so i'm, I'm not waiting for you i am so sorry but i was like i will not wait for you no no i will not so i was with my co-worker and he is uh um like spurgis is just like i didn't say it's kevin um, he's the one I told you all helped me, but I, I look a while ago on one of my videos, but yeah. So, I mean, the bottle is just everything. Look at that. Just, it's everything. I got the cute little small ones because I like to do reels and stuff and show off my products. So, I feel like this one would fit the aesthetic better to go with my bigger one. Random side note. But, the small one retails for $32. If you get the skinny one, it's $29. So, the skinny one has 034 and this one has 034 So, this one's just more aesthetically pleasing and one looks like this. And then what it looks like this. So I'm going to compare it to some of my other vanilla fragrances that I have from Kylie and just other Kylie fragrances in general. If you all remember, I did the um, pistachio gelato one. It should be over here at the video if you're interested. But um, yeah, so this one retails for 34, sorry, 32 for 34 ounces or 29 if you get the skinny one. Then there's the 1.7 ounce one that I'm going to buy that's $100. And then there's the 3.4 ounce that's going to be 138. I should get the 3.4 ounce, but we're not going to do all that because I'm going to be mixing it with other stuff. And since summer is coming, y'all know I like my um, fruity fragrances in summertime. So when the fall sale comes around, I wouldn't be surprised if I do get the bigger one because I can definitely see myself wearing this every day and just mixing a different vanilla fragrance with it because it's just that fire. So spoiler alert, I actually wore it all day so I could give you all an idea of how it wears because I've had this on since 7.30 and it's now 3.30. So I've had it on for a good eight hours. We're going to see if I can still smell it and all that and I'll spray a fresh one on the other side of the arm right here just to give you all an idea of my first impression of the fragrance and then I'll use this side that I've been wearing it on all day as our mixer side for a couple of other fragrances or a fragrance to try it out with because I do have one in mind I want to try this out with but yeah so this is a warm and spicy this is a warm and sweet gourmands so y'all know I was here for it as soon as I you know heard that the keynotes are candy pear rock sugar and vanilla cream so it says Live your sweetest fantasy with vanilla candy rock sugar 42. It's sugary, delightful, and tempting. This fragrance is a lighter, useful take on the brand's cult favorite vanilla 28. And I can definitely see that in the notes of this fragrance. If you all do not know the notes of vanilla um 28, I'll read them off for you real quick because they had it down below. So it says the notes in Vanilla 28 or Vanilla Orchards, Tonka Absolute, and Amber Woods. And I definitely, definitely, definitely could see myself pairing this one with that random side note. So we're going to spray it on real quick now, real cute like. Just so you can get my first impressions on it. Then I'll tell you how I felt it wore throughout the day and then we'll put on some other ones. But yeah, so I'm going to so spray it on the wrist together so I can try it with two or three different fragrances I have in mind because I have some in mind already just having worn it so that kind of was helpful for me plus I figured I could help you letting you know about the wear of it and how long it wears it literally came in the mail today and I took it with me to work and was just like yeah so I'll spray it there and I'll spray it here but I am check in my wrist the way it smells so I feel like you can immediately smell like the candy pear and the bubble gum and the vanilla for sure because that's what I first smelled when I sprayed I smell actually a lot of bubble gum, which I was kind of excited about because I didn't know how much of the bubble gum we were going to get in it from spraying it. But you can smell the bubble gum and the candy pear and the vanilla for sure, which I was happy about. So let's see if it's still smelling on this arm. Okay, so the scent has started to go down quite a bit now, but in all fairness, I've had it on for eight hours and I literally did like one spray. Like the one spray you saw me do in here is the one spray I did on this side. So the fact that it lasted all that time and i can still smell faint hint of it now that you know the day is over i'm very impressed with because i feel like normally their fragrances don't last as long for me as i would like them to so of course y'all know i gotta start off with yum pistachio gelato and it has pistachio gelato hazelnut sweet rum whipped cream marshmallow and cotton candy so i feel like this one would definitely go nicely with this if you want an overly sickly like sweet fragrance i feel like this might be good for you so i'm going to spray it with um the part of my arm 
you already have one and see how they merge together and go together now you do have to keep in mind though since i've had this on for like the eight hours it's not gonna um have as pigmented of a smell or as like potent i should have said as a smell than it normally would if i had sprayed it on fresh and then sprayed it on top of this so that's just something to keep in mind but I still smell like the candy pear and the bubble gum with smelling this gelato on top. But remember, there's supposed to be like a gelato, a pistachio gelato inside of this fragrance as well, if I remember correctly. Let's read the side of the box because I think, it, yeah, it's supposed to be um, candy pear, sweet violet, bubble gum, white caramel, rock sugar, and vanilla cream. So I definitely could see it like pairing with this nice because. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm liking the way those are smelling together. I, full size, full size definitely is coming. But on its own, you can smell, like I said, the bubble gum and the candy pear. You can smell a little bit of the rock sugar and the um, the vanilla cream. That's a lot of what I smelled when I first put it on. It mainly had the own forming smell of bubble gum and then the pear and the vanilla and the rock sugar, which again was okay with me. I was totally fine with that because I I just love me a good vanilla scent, but. Combined with that one, I really like it as well. I feel like it's pulling out a little more of that vanilla cream that you initially smell in it, which I'm definitely here for. So I have brought my Vanilla Royale with me. This one is Vanilla Royale um, Sugar Patchouli, number 64. And this one is supposed to be a warm and sweet gourmand. It's supposed to have golden rum, vanilla sir syrup salute, and sugar patchouli. And so it says, this is a seductively bold, warm, and spicy fragrance inspired by Vanilla 28 that enhances with an exotic contrast of sweet vanilla sub sur absolute, soft golden rum, and rich sugared patchouli paired with creme brulee and royal old notes. Makes this an opulent and decadent scent perfect for all occasions. So I feel like this could be another one that would be good with it. And then it'll help like change the scent of it to a certain extent but not too much like if you wanted it to be more smoky side I feel like this might be the one to pair with because those old notes and the rum I'm feeling like it might be a little better let's see I feel like this would pair really nicely with um golden rum from um dossier that they sent me in PR from their original collection. I feel like this would pair nicely with it if you wanted to add a little more vanilla to it because it does have that golden sweet rum to it and it's a nice scent but it's like if you wanted a dash of vanilla in it I feel like this vanilla royale from Kayali would be a good one to add to it. So let's see how I like it with this though. Okay with this I definitely smell more of the old and, and I definitely do smell the golden rum and the vanilla absolute so it's definitely pulling more of that but it's meshing nicely with the candy pear so this could be a good one for you to pair with this as well and of course y'all know I have to use the vanilla 28 with this just because this is a classic staple but I do have other fragrances I'm going to tell you that I feel like might blend in and work with this um sorry with this one nicely as well so y'all know I love and live for a vanilla moment so I have some more I'm going to show you that I might pair with them well a couple of them are from sniff and then I have um Ellis Brooklyn's um, Vanilla Milk I most likely would try to pair with this and the Prada um, one I just did a video on the, uh, the um, thumbnail should be right here but the Prada um, what is it Vanilla Infusion I feel like it would go really nicely with that and since that has more of a floral scent to it I'm interested to see how it will go along with the candy peach and the bubble gum like how would that compilation do but I'm willing to try it I'm actually thinking about trying that one when I go to bed tonight so I can give you all a better idea of it because this video I don't think it's supposed to go up to Saturday I might try to get it up sooner it depends but yeah I want you to definitely um hear my thoughts on this because y'all know I love vanilla so a new vanilla to add to my collection always seems like a good idea to me but I'm really liking it with the um pistachio gelato which I figured I would just based upon like the notes in it and the notes in that I feel like they go together beautifully and the cotton candy in there would just bring out a lot of the candy and bubblegum notes in addition to the pistachio bringing out a nice little bit of the caramel in it 
Okay, so with the vanilla one, it just brings out more of the vanilla cream in it, which I don't have a problem with. You can have a nice little um, bubble gum after, um, I guess, dry down note, in addition to having some more vanilla to go with the vanilla cream. I feel like that's what it would bring to the table for it. Again, we should let this dry down. So we're going to talk about the couple other ones that I feel like would go nicely with this. If you all remember, I did a video on, on all the pistachio fragrances, including this one from Sniff called Heal the Way. I do have a code with Sniff. It is um, Grace 10 if you're interested. Um, I should be showing what the fragrance looks like right here because I'm going to just kind of take it out and then talk to you about it for a moment. But yeah, this is a really unique uh, pistachio as fragrance too and I feel like this would definitely blend nicely with it if you don't like the sweetness that's in um, Kayali's Yum Gelato pistachio, pistachio Gelato then I feel like you would like Heal the Way a lot and you can actually pick this up at Ulta so you don't have to go on their website and use my code if you don't want to you can go to Ulta and pick this up I love this scent just as much as I like Yum uh, Pistachio Gelato so like to me they're neck and neck so either one of these to me would go good with the um, new one it's such a hard name for me to get. I don't know why. Vanilla candy, rock sugar. I feel like both of these would go together very nicely. This is going to give more of a subtle pistachio and like cream feel to this fragrance. In addition to, you know, the rock sugar and the pear and all that. I feel like they'll be a nice combination too. Basically, I love the sweet fragrance. So anything that I add on to the sweetness of a fragrance that's already sweet to me is nice. It would be to me more for daytime though. In the night or going to sleep if I want to smell nice and sweet. Like if I was going for like a date night or something, I would put something that's a little more smoky with it. Which is why I wanted to talk about um, Vanilla Vice. Because I feel like Vanilla Vice is kind of like um, Vanilla 28. It gives a little bit more of a smoky vibe to this fragrance. So if you want to tone down the bubble gum and, get and, and bring out a little more of vanilla cream. And get a little bit more spicy vanilla if you will then I feel like vanilla vice from sniff would be um, great for you I'm sorry I just love to do that I don't know why but yeah I would pair this with it as well depending like I said I don't have the Prada one but I have a picture of what it looks like over here in the thumbnail right there I feel like that would be a good one to use I'm um, like I said I'm gonna go to bed and use that one tonight so we can have an idea of what it smells like but yeah I definitely definitely advise you to pick up this fragrance if you love a sweet gourmand if you don't if you like a really sugary and sweet one. Now it's not like sickly sweet and like a synthetic type sweet. It's just more of like a traditional sweet fragrance if you will. If that makes sense. And I feel like you would definitely like this fragrance. If you like the type of fragrances I like. Like if you like um, Yum Pistachio Gelato. If you like Vanilla 28. If you like Vanilla Royale Sugared Patchouli I believe it's called. You would like this fragrance because it's giving a nice soft one according to lauren may beauty she said this is a sophisticated version of pink sugar and my um friend kevin said the same thing he said it was a um sophisticated version of pink sugar so if you like pink sugar but you want a more adult version that you don't feel like is, is sweet because some people feel like they're sweet i personally don't but you know if you like that fragrance i feel like you would definitely like this one I'm interested to see what it would be like if you combine both of these together. I don't think I'm going to do it though because I want it to stay on the sweeter side and I don't feel like pink sugar is like super sweet the way I feel like they feel it is. But I do recommend you pick up this fragrance. That's the bottom line girl. If you love vanilla fragrances, if you love sweet gourmand fragrances, soft playful girly fragrances because that's what I would definitely classify this under. Like it's a sophisticated soft sweet girly fragrance that I feel like every girl should have in her arsenal. So if you like sweet gourmands and love vanilla fragrance, you need this in your world. And I have to go offline now and buy a full size to put my little baby one so that I can have this at all times because I like it that much. But those are my thoughts on the fragrance. If you cannot tell, I love it. I love it. I love it. And I will be getting a full size. I should have just followed my first mind and bought the full size, but I was scared. So now I have to spend this extra money. And I could have just bought the $138 one instead of having the baby one and the big one. But it's good for content, so it's fine. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all the diamonds. I hope it was helpful. Comment down below and let me know if you're going to pick it up or not. Because I'm definitely curious how many other Sweet Gourmand girls are living for this new Kayali fragrance. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Make sure you subscribe and be blessed, girl. The membership is down below if you're interested. Bye.